Callie forever. She was the bass player for Danielle Lopresti and the Masses, and she was great then. I used to really, really like what she did. I'm Kelly Bowen, and I play bass. Francesca is kind of the Kelly Bowen fan club at that particular venue. She would always gather up a bunch of people and like park it right down in the front. I was like, who's that? Why is this person paying so much? Okay, that's cool. I actually pulled the entire bar to go watch her. I pulled everyone off the patio, and I was like, you guys have to come see this chick bass player. And I was like literally going in the bathrooms, finding my friends, because this was like a kind of a hang. You gotta come check out this this bass player. She's a girl. She's great. It's so rare. I can't think of a single bass player that's a female that really fits that genre that Kelly's in right now, so it's kind of cool. She just had this great sound, girl or guy. It was just, it didn't matter. She had this great sound, and it was thick, and it was yummy, and it was just awesome, and it fit Danielle's music so well. And I, it never occurred to me, this is like seven years ago, it never occurred to me to use her. I had a bass player. I loved my bass player. She was working on recording the album, and I kind of came in in the process of where she was doing the recording. She kind of said, well, you know, you bothered to learn all these songs. You know, if we have any San Diego shows, do you want to play them? I'm like, yeah, sure, of course. And then she was like, well, you know, you can really play whatever shows you want. It was kind of like carte blanche. I could take whatever shows that I wanted to play. And uh, so then suddenly I became the bass player. None of us went to school for what we do, except for Kelly. Kelly's the one that went to school for what we do. I went to the Berkeley College of Music. I had one teacher in particular who really enlightened me to the importance of what you don't play, as well as what you do play, and leaving room in particular as a bass player for the snare drum. Like in certain grooves, the interaction of what I'm playing against the space that I can create for the snare to crack. When that kind of groove is happening, it's like, ah, that's perfect. Right there. I'm fundamentally a groove player. I'm not looking to get in the way of the vocals, not looking to get in the way of lead guitar, and I'm trying to bridge those things together with like the rhythm and harmonic aspects. Kelly is a fire putter. That's her job. She's like the chief of the fire department. That needs to get packed in the truck. Right. So can this, it be packed on its side or does it need to be packed up? I think it can be packed on its side. Okay. Even tonight we said at rehearsal, if something goes wrong, call Kelly. It's an interesting thing because I want to say she's the captain of the ship, but she's not. She does what I ask her to do. She's just a great team player. She's a great first mate. I guess that's the way to put it. She's awesome at that stuff. She definitely helps with the business end of things. She's got a lot of contact. She sends out a lot of press kits. She does a lot of that work. Bands are a lot of work to get going. The more people who are willing to step forward and put in a little extra effort, it, it helps a lot.